Yeah, yeah. there's a bit of mint on there. Can you just knock it off? <laughs> I'm Adam Pennell here at Gosney HQ and today I'm going to make a cheeseburger pizza. Right, I'm going to start by just getting this skillet nice and hot by getting it right into the back of the rock box. I'm going to take some mince, you get the fattiest mince you can possibly get your hands on. I like about 35%. I'm just going to make four little balls about the size of a golf ball. Don't compress the meat too much, you want it nice and loose because these are going to smash down and create a lovely crust on the outside of our little patties. Right, pan's nice and hot. You want the pan to be around about 400 degrees when you do this. Onto the trivet. Grab our meatballs. I'm gonna drop them straight onto the pan. If you've got enough fat content in your meat, you're not gonna need any oil in this pan, it's just gonna burst into flames. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of salt, and then with the back of a spatula, just smash those patties down. I'm gonna develop a lovely crust on the outside of that. The caramelization is where your flavor's at. And cooking it this quickly means that we'll have a lovely juicy center. Another 10 seconds, get underneath them and give them a flip. Look at that caramelization, beautiful. You can leave those to finish in the pan while we prep the pizza. Right, I'm gonna stretch out our dough. If you need a decent pizza dough recipe, just go to gosney.com and stretch that out nice and thin. Okay, we're gonna go in with a very, very simple, light tomato sauce. Just a couple of spoons of that, spread out evenly all over the base. Next up is the plastic cheese or American cheese. This, I thought only had one use in the world and that's on a cheeseburger. I just found a second use, it's on this pizza. I'm gonna lay three of those. It's important you put these down first. You'll find that they blister if you leave them on the top, but they're gonna make an amazing cheesy base. Now we're gonna bring back our patties. So just gonna drop one patty onto each of those cheese slices. This is pre-cooked bacon, just because it probably wouldn't cook in time for us to put it on raw, making sure that everybody gets a little bite. Now we're gonna go in with some cheddar. Wouldn't be a pizza without mozzarella. Thinly sliced pickles, just dashed all over. Again, making sure that you get a little bit in every slice. I love cooked pickles. People always put them on a burger, just out the jar, but trust me, when these are all charred up, they're insanely good. Now I'm gonna take my pizza peel and just give it a little hit with some flour just to stop the pizza from sticking to it. Slide it on, stretch it back out. If it changes its shape slightly on the, in the movement, then we're gonna go straight into the rock box. Just rotating this around, make sure that it cooks evenly on every side. To finish it up, I'm gonna lift the pizza up to the top of the oven to make sure all that cheese is melted. Quick check underneath. So there we have my cheeseburger pizza. The recipe's on the Gosney website. Get one made. With a three patty pizza, you need to make sure that everybody is gonna get a slice. So if you do the maths, that's six slices. If it's a four patty, you need eight slices and so on. Honestly, this one really is a triumph. The plastic cheese on the bottom is the thing that kills it. But those smashed patties are still juicy. The bacon, the pickles, get one of these made, they're insane.